We're on the same page. 21. Page 21, Rule 9, Narrow Channels. <clears throat> a vessel proceeding along the course of a narrow channel or fairway shall keep as near to the outer limit of the channel or fairway which lies on her starboard side as is safe and practicable. Notwithstanding paragraph A1 and Rule 14a, a power-driven vessel operating in narrow channels or fairways on the Great Lakes, Western Rivers, or water specified by the Secretary and proceeding downbound with a following current shall have the right of way over an upbound vessel, shall propose the manner and place of passage, and shall initiate the maneuvering signals prescribed by Rule 34A1 as appropriate. The vessel proceeding upbound against the current shall hold as necessary to permit safe passing. A vessel of less than 20 meters in length or a sailing vessel shall not impede the passage of a vessel that can safely navigate only within the narrow channel or fairway. A vessel engaged in fishing shall not impede the passage of any other vessel navigating within a narrow channel or fairway. A vessel shall not cross a narrow channel or fairway if such crossing impedes the passage of a vessel which can safely navigate only within that channel or fairway. The latter vessel shall use the danger signal prescribed in Rule 34D if in doubt as to the intention of the crossing vessel. In a narrow channel or fairway when overtaking, the power-driven vessel intending to overtake another power-driven vessel shall indicate her intention by sounding the appropriate signal prescribed in Rule 34C, which are maneuvering and warning signals, and take steps to permit safe passing. The power-driven vessel being overtaken, if in agreement, shall sound the same signal and may, if specifically agreed to take steps to permit safe passing. If in doubt, she shall sound the danger signal prescribed in Rule 34D. This rule does not relieve the overtaking vessel of her obligation under Rule 13. A vessel nearing a bend or an area of a narrow channel or fairway where other vessels may be obscured by an intervening obstruction shall navigate with particular alertness and caution and shall sound the appropriate signal prescribed in Rule 34E. Every vessel shall, if the circumstances of the case admit, avoid anchoring in a narrow channel. So narrow channels, yep. if we sum it up, the downbound vessel has right of way and proposes the passing agreement. The upbound vessel should hold to permit safe passing. And a crossing vessel should not impede downbound or upbound vessel. Downbound, right? What do you mean by downbound? So if we are in a, we are in a narrow channel with a current, current's going uh, this way. Okay. Downbound vessel, upbound vessel. And sometimes they descending, ascending. Okay. Right? There may be a crossing vessel here too. Downbound vessel proposes the manner and place of passage, and the upbound vessel holds to permit a safe passing. And you can think about if there's a three knot current, your current is three knots. To maintain bare steerage, the minimum speed at which she can be kept on course, let's say she needs to go two to be held on course. Well, now this guy's speed over ground is five, and this guy's is negative one. And the downbound vessel has right of way, correct? Correct. So then the downbound will signal what they want to do. Right. They say one short, they're going to alter course to starboard, Forward. or two shorts, they're going to alter course to port. So let's say they go one short, alter course to starboard. This guy holds and permits a safe passing. And the cross, if there is a vessel crossing here, no rights. Like you don't just run across the road willy nilly. Oh. <laughs> you know, you look both ways, you make mm -hmm. sure there's no cars coming, and then you cross at as close to perpendicular as possible. 